Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today I have a cross stitch update for you all for the 2nd of March. I hope it goes up on the 2nd of March. Today is the 2nd of March uh, 2024 and this is floss tube number 130. Welcome in. Uh, if you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, thanks for coming back. Today is a fun day. It is Saturday and we have been really busy in the house today so um, I haven't crafted as much as I would have liked in the last nine days <laughs> but I did get some done and I did touch a few projects and I met my whip go goals and we're staying on track which is always really fun uh, especially for someone like me who my wheels are always falling off, let's put it that way, but it does make for fun times. So today uh, I'm, I've got some whips to share with you. I don't have any finishes, um, just works in progress. Um, do I have, I have a new start to share with you all. I have marathon updates and charity auctions ha coming up again and, uh, and a winner from last week's giveaway. So let's start with that. Last week I gave away a pattern from Lizzie Kate called Slice of Freedom and the winner of that is Katie P. Tiny Feats who also has a channel here on YouTube so I'll make sure to link her so that you can check out her uh, videos down below if you're looking for someone uh, to, to watch. Uh, I really enjoy her updates and she's one of those people who only has like a small rotation so you get to see the same projects and the the progress on those and there's a lot more progress to be seen whereas I am just chaos anyway <laughs> congratulations Katie uh, I will have that in the mail to you as soon as possible let's talk about marathon so if you are new and you haven't heard me talk about this uh, myself and, an, and a group of stitchers and floss tubers we have created a, uh, a marathon funding group for the Coalition to Stop Violence Against Native Women, which is based in, it's a nonprofit organization based in um, Albuquerque, New Mexico. The reason we decided to go with them was because we could tell that they were uh, not only just about uh, raising awareness online, but they also do a lot of in-person, um, like, group setting, local, on the ground, counseling, meetings. They also write legislation for the national level as well as the state level. And they're working very hard to stop this like wave of missing and murdered indigenous women, girls and two spirits. And so we, we are trying to use our platforms in order to raise money for them and for what they're trying to accomplish. Uh, it makes us feel good. It makes us feel like we're doing something um, and contributing to bettering people's lives, I hope. So with that being said, last week I had three items up for auction and there was an advent calendar of yarn from Asylum Fibers, sorry, I almost said something else. From Asylum Fibers, we had a diamond painting from Craftably, and we had a cross-stitch kit, which was Huckleberry Farm by the Blue Flower. It is so beautiful. I kitted that up, it had the specialty floss and the fabric, um, and sorry about the light, it's a sunny day with clouds intermittently, so the light might change. Um, I have those three things from my stash up for auction to raise money for charity. And if we go to, sorry, if we go to the 99 pledges page, the, the yarn and the diamond painting raised $235 and the cross stitch kit raised $85. These are US dollars. Thank you so much to Sylvia, Sylvia W, who, by the way, just a plug because wow, um, the Sylvia makes these project tracker cards on Etsy. 
So it's S War Designs. Will that focus? Maybe it's too close. Uh, anyway, I'll have a link down below. S Ward Designs on Etsy. Really great project tracker cards. I love using these, but we'll talk about the new normal in a bit. So this, thank you so much for everyone who bid on last week's auction items. Thank you to Sylvia and to Siriania for paying the highest bid for, for uh, donating to charity. We really, really appreciate that. I've sent series already, but Sylvia's is a little bit more complicated to pack, so that will be in the mail on Monday. But thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you so much for your interest. This week, we have some really great things. So let me start with Siriania, <laughs> one of our winners, actually donated to the cause by sending a fully kitted vintage cross stitch kit. This is, sorry about the glare, a CEWEC kit. This is a Scandinavian cross stitch kit and it, I, I scoured the internet, I cannot find this one. This is the pattern that is included in this packaging. This, like I said, I looked everywhere to see if I could find this, if I could find the value of this, but this comes with a cream 14 count Ada. I believe it's 14 count because the holes, it's quite far apart, and all of the cotton flosses that you need. I don't think these are DMC. They are cotton though, and it's a beautiful rainbow of colors. This looks like it'll be really fun to stitch. It comes with the instructions, of course, but the written instruction may be in Scandinavian. <laughs> it may not be in English, but I believe that it'll be easy enough to translate because we kind of we kind of already know how to cross stitch, right? If the, if you're a beginner, you if you have questions, just send them my way. Just send me an email and I'll help you out. But this is the chart that we are going to be bidding for. I believe it's circa the 90s. And if you have more details, if you know where this is from or, or when it's from or anything like that, feel free to leave a comment down below. But we have, I have put it up. So the way this is gonna run is that I am hosting the auctions for these items over on my Patreon page on free posts. You don't have to be a member. You don't have to, well, you don't have to pay. You may have to become a member but it's a free membership. It's just, you know, that sort of thing uh, in order to to bid. But please don't let that stop you. I promise it won't spam you. Uh, we have, oh, I didn't, I, it's still, it's still waiting for this one. Um, we're going to start the bid for this one. I believe that if you want to do us a favor and donate to charity, we're going to try to raise as much money as possible. And out of print, Difficult to find kit like this that's so beautiful. So beautiful. There is back stitching in that. That gorgeous, gorgeous scene there. I've got it linked down below. So the hot link to this is going to be down below. So that you could just click on it and go. Um, I don't know what it's called. It doesn't have a name. I believe I called it Tropical Lovers on the auction. So Yes, definitely. If you're interested, go check out that link. Next up for the auctions, I have another diamond painting. This one comes from my stash and it is an out of print, very difficult to find, Hannah Lynn diamond painting. This one is called Dahlia. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't that picture gorgeous? I absolutely love it. I'll put a better picture here on the screen for you. This is a square draw diamond painting that is 59 by 42 centimeters. It does have ABs in it, so it is a nice kit. Um, I think I bought this several moons ago, many years ago. This is one of my favorite Hannah Lynn pictures. 
Um, unfortunately, Hannah Lynn's contract with Diamond Art Club is coming to an end. So these are going to be very hard to get. And not only that, this one in particular is going to be hard to get. So definitely check it out if you're interested. Uh, we have, I have, I say we, I don't know why I'm talking in the third person. I've started the bid at $75. Uh, and I think that that is a reasonable price to start at because it is no longer available anywhere uh, except DStash sites, and uh, it's for a good cause. So uh, again, I'll have the link down below if you are interested in this kit. All right, the last thing that I have is also from my stash this week. I reached deep, and uh, this is... A pattern again that I kitted up, fully kitted up, except for DMC from um, the year 2020. This came out at Nashville Needlework Market of 2020 and it is Mary Mary Needleworker. Now for this one I am going to show you pictures because you're going to see nothing but glare. Um, but this, I have kitted this up for the night version of this chart. The picture I just showed you was day and I have kitted up for night. So the skirt is orange and the fabric is gray. It is beautiful. There are a load of uh, weeks in this. I know this is before, uh, before I stopped buying weeks. But the, the kit is ready to go except for the DMC. Um, I do live in Ireland if you haven't been here before and it's a little bit expensive to get DMC here so I tend to hold off on buying DMC until I'm in the States and this wasn't a priority for me at the time necessarily. A lot of things happened in 2020. So I have fabric from Fortnite Fabrics that is called, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, Norcia Black Truffle. It is a 32 count even weave. And it is gorgeous. It's this beautiful, like, um, slate gray. Again, with the glare, I don't think you're going to be able to see it. It is a little lighter than the called for fabric, which I believe is called Echo, and varies v completely between dye batches, it looks like, because I tried getting some pictures and idea of what I should take for my stash. Fortnite Fabrics is no longer in business. They dissolved, I believe, last year. So it is a very rare piece of fabric. The entire fancy floss set for this and the paper pattern. So um, for this reason, I've gone ahead and said that since the total retail value of this is about $80 US at this stage, we'll start the bids at 60. Um, all of these auctions, I would love if the minimum bid is $5 per, per increase. So uh, whoever is the highest bidder, you just make a new comment and put something that's $5 or higher into your comment. Thank you all so much for your interest in these auctions. The money is going to be sent to our 99 pledges link, which I also have down below if you want to just check it out. Um, I have a blog post on Marathon if you want to learn more about the organization. Uh, I'll have that link down below. I really appreciate the support. Thank you all so much. And thank you to those of you who have just been donating just because. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Um, it just feels good to be involved in something that is not just me, right? So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, okay, that's the giveaway from last week the marathon. Now let's talk about stitching. Let me get my Notion app up. So I use Notion, which is a website slash app that you can use. Uh, and I use the Stitchery Notion app, uh, Stitchery template, which is by Stitching a T. And I have a link down below. Um, it is amazing for, for keeping me organized. So the last time that we were together, it was right before my birthday. And I believe that I showed you Wildflowers completed. I don't have it here, actually. If I didn't, I will put a picture on the screen. Uh, I finished my quadrant of the round robin. 
that I am participating in, which is where we stitch one quarter of an ink circles pattern and then pass it on to the next person to work on. And then that way it doesn't get old and we don't get sick of it and put it in our wet pile never to be touched again, which is something that I absolutely would do. So, um, last time we, I, we, what is with me in the third person today? Or the, what person would that be? The inclusive, all of us. All of us watched me struggle last time, right? Small verbs is also an ink circles pattern. And lucky for you, I have a printout of the picture so I don't have to do too much editing. Small verbs looks like this. We started this in 2021. Started this May the 10th of 2021. I have worked on it a handful of times. And you know, I the only reason that I don't grab this more often is because of how small it is. So it is aptly named. But if I have a picture, I'm gonna put a picture here of what it looked like last time. This is on 28 Count the Greens by Fortnite Fabric, one over one. And I'm using my own floss conversion and here is where we are today. I did a total of 650 stitches on this, believe it or not. It's a lot of stitching. This is a lot of stitching. Um, I filled this motif in, I fixed this one, and I brought the border around. 650 stitches. Worked on this for two sessions on my birthday and on that following Saturday. Um, and it, I mean, I'm really happy with where it is now and here it shall stay for a little while longer um, because we have more to work on. This was a whip go call and uh, yeah, it just felt good to get some stitching into it. That's why I love whip go because I keep my goals really small. I, I tell myself I'm going to do 500 stitches on every call at least. And then if I'm feeling the urge to continue, I just keep going until I don't want to do it anymore. It's really, it's a, it's an easier way for me to deal with it because I only really have enough time to stitch like around 150, 200 stitches a day on average. So, um, and then, excuse me, I didn't stitch for several days until, yeah until uh, the leap day, the 29th. So from the 25th to the 28th, I did no, no cross stitch at all. The new normal, pop a photo here. The new normal is from Long Dog Samplers and it was leap day, so it was Long Dog Leap Day Sal Day. Um, there are people in the community, I don't know who started it, I think it might have been Aaron to Martini Stitcher, uh, who, who started this where you, um, work on a long dog or start a long dog and then finish it within the four years. I'm not doing that. I started mine in 2021 on my birthday. This is a birthday new start. And um, gosh, this is a blanket of fabric. I'm gonna pop in a photo of where it was last time so that you can see what I've done. This is on 28 count Lugana. Um, that was hand dyed by my friend Jesse, Mislaid Pages. Check out their web shop, uh, misslaidpages.com. For February, this is before the boxes started, and here we are now. I need to be able to see what you see. I did, I think it was 500, yeah, 563 stitches. We are now at. Oh, I wrote it down, but I don't want to take down my hands. 15%, something like that. Incredible. So I got really scared that it wasn't going to fit. So I brought the border all the way across and that is where it will lie on the fabric. If I bring it close, there we go. That's what it's going to look like when it is framed. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm gonna need a poster frame for this. 
Uh, and I'm just going to click in this and it's going to give me, it doesn't give me the comment that I added. Womp womp. Okay, well it's about 15-ish percent complete now. And I love working on this, it's just 310. 310 stitching. And that monotone, one color stitching is my jam. I really, really like it. Um, but I am putting this away because I have other things that I'd like to work on and other things that are calling to me. Let's talk about my new start. Did I put this? I didn't put it in. Oh, I didn't put it in. No, I did stitch. I did stitch and I didn't put in my Notion app. There we go. So I started a new, a new start, as I said. This is from the February box. I think everybody's open there, so if you haven't, I don't know what to tell you. But this is Jessie's pattern called You Are Enough. Number four, which is my favorite number. You Are Enough from the box. So it has all of the beautiful called for dinky dies here. And I'm doing it on her fabric, which is Flourish 40 Count Linen. And that is where I got to. Isn't it so cute? And I have the Needle Minder Foon Box too. So I got a good start on it. It is... Ooh, I don't know, maybe, maybe a quarter done, maybe, but it's, it's super exciting. It's such a pretty little project. I love the fabric. The floss is really nice to use because it's just one strand of silk. It's quite nice. I'm enjoying it. Um, and I believe that the pattern is going to be available next year, probably, or maybe later this year. I'm not hundred percent sure how Jessie is going to do this with their pattern but it's awesome and I really enjoyed stitching on it. That was, I want to say one or two sessions. Now I can't remember. Of course. And last for whips. Ah, Stitch for Pride sampler. This is from these 20 stitches and this was you had to get in on this before the new year. I felt like a lot of people were talking about it, but I don't know. There's a lot more people looking at it now and that want to get in on it. Hopefully D will make it available during Pride Month, but we don't know. This month, we are celebrating an artist, Stephanie H-She, S-H-I-H. And I'm going to make sure that I link them down below so you can check them out. Um, Stephanie is a sculptor and an artist and activist. And Stephanie's work is, like right now, it's based on like grocery items. So all of that to say, I'm stitching this on a... Oh gosh, do I have it written down? 32 Count Lugana by Miss Lee Page is called Determination. And um, the last time it would have been uh, both of the, both of these motifs were complete the last time you saw this, but this is our nude motif. It's a little hard to see on this camera. There we go. Do you know what it is? It's rooster sauce. It's a three racha bottle, um, and it's so cool. I had a dilemma. The I saw the show sneaks of this month's drop, and the floss that they used was pink to green. All I had in my stash was bouquet, which is pink, cream, and green. But then I saw the pattern and I was like, I kind of want to stitch it in red. Now, 
I'm fine with it. I think that this is going to look pretty cool. Um, but there was a moment there where I was like, should I stitch that in red? Anyway, it is beautiful. It is beautiful either way. This is called, this floss is called Bouquet by Fiber on a Whim. And it's gorgeous. So that's how far I got. I don't know how many stitches I did. I think it was probably... 200 and 200, 220, something like that last night. But I got it started and it is, it always drops on the first of the month. So I, I'm going to keep working on this until it's finished. Then I'm going to start WIPGO. So let's talk about this month's WIPGO calls. The first call is my Pokemon cross stitch. I have a epic Generation 1 cross stitch pattern by Lord Libidin. So we're going to have to put in 500 stitches on this, which is going to be really easy. Absolutely love it. I hand dyed this Ada myself. This is a 20 count Ada and I'm going 1 over 1 with, um, what are they called? Those knockoff threads from Amazon because there are a hundred colors or something. There's a lot of colors in this. And I, for one euro 60 per DMC, I cannot afford to buy the DMC for this, unfortunately. But that is gonna be really fun to work on again and get somewhere. <laughs> I am using that as my charity piece on Twitch, so I will be streaming on Twitch this coming week. If you want to join me, twitch.tv slash Rachel Ray Craft. You do not have to pay to watch. Uh, it would be lovely to have you sit and chat with us. If you're free, if you have mornings free, it would be amazing. So join us. My second whip call this month for March is Bella Filipina's Gaia the Earth Goddess. She's stunning. And I am concerned over how I can show this to you. I haven't worked on Gaia in a hot minute. Oh, I love the smell of this fabric. Sorry for the creases. This is page one, well, not page one, but the one page complete of Gaia the Earth Goddess. Absolutely stunning. The Krynik, I'm doing the Krynik. I did some backstitch here in the bird. But you can't really see it. Gorgeous flowers. The gold, there's a gold in the middle there that shimmers. It's so pretty. And this thing is chock full of beads. And I know, I'm waiting on this. I'm waiting to do this later like middle to end of March, because I think I might make this my focus piece for the rest of the month. Um, all the greens and everything is very, very St. Patrick's Day, uh, very March. So excited to pull this out again. This is on, is it 28 count marbled bunny by XJU Designs on Etsy? that right? Nope, 32 count Marbled Bunny by XJU Designs on Etsy. And the bag that I'm using for this, I feel like I'm about to sneeze, so I apologize in advance if I do. The bag is from Monkey and Mouse. Isn't this so cute? I love this little bag, even if it's floppy. I love it because it's got these mermen on it. Look how happy they are. Ooh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I picked this one because it's so green and it kind of goes with Gaia. So those are my WIPCO calls this month. Uh, I did hit 20 hours out of 100 hours in my goal for marathon. But at the rate that I'm able to go at the moment, I don't believe that I'm going to hit 100 hours of stitching by the end of this month, sadly. I will try, I will do my best. 
and I'm still sticking to it. I am donating $10 for every 10 hours stitched and uh, I hit 20 hours last week so I sent in another $10 to the fundraiser. So that was really, really fun. And what else? I'm just looking forward to having more time to sit down with my stitching because lately, and here we're going to go into life a little bit, I have no haul, I have nothing else to tell you about, so if you need to leave, I understand. But we'll just have a sit down and chat for a second, if you would like to stay. Thank you. Um, we are currently trying to settle into our house. We moved. We moved in February. It was really stressful. It's less stressful, but it's still a little bit difficult trying to find places to put things and, for example, trying to find where did my printer cord go? I have no idea. Um, and it, it does feel a little bit like my life is a puzzle and I have to put the pieces into place. I'm very, very grateful for having inherited this house but it is very jarring <laughs> and difficult um, in some ways but I'm not gonna let that stop me uh, it a lot of healthy habits have come out of this which is wonderful and I am super super grateful for that like going out and walking a lot more and uh, just keeping myself in check and things like that but it's been a little hard. <laughs> um, and I don't wanna to get too much into that because I don't wanna like burden you with that. But it is a little difficult to find time to craft in general. I haven't diamond painted, I haven't cross stitched as much as I'd like to, just trying to get it all together. But I think my craft room is more or less in the position where I, I think it will stay. Not for too long, but it it will be it will be there eventually. And uh, you know we're just gonna grow into the space, and it's gonna be fine. And when I get the time to cross stitch, I'm gonna enjoy every single second of it and not regret it at all. And when I look back to last year around this time, I did spend a lot of time, a lot of my free time, crafting. Uh, and it kind of to my detriment a little bit, you know, um, I wasn't taking care of my my body or my mind and that was that was rough. So if it has to be a trade-off, I would rather it be this way than the other way. Um, but I still I do appreciate that you are here watching me and uh, following my journey, my crafting journey. Um, and I am so excited because in less than eight weeks, we will be at Stitch North. I'm so excited. I can't wait to meet my friends in person. I can't wait to give out all the good hugs. <laughs> I can't wait to sit and stitch for a while. It's going to be fabulous. So if you're coming to Stitch North, I can't wait to see you. Um, I feel like there was a question. Wasn't there a question? last time. I'm sorry I'm not editing this out, but I'm just having a quick look at the comments. Oh, this is it. Last time I told you about a chart. Grief knows no bounds. And this is actually not just from Marumi Crafts. I think I, I misspoke on that. And it's actually for from a, a group it's called the Stitchers for Peace Initiative. So the Stitchers for Peace Initiative designed the pattern. It is Yasmin Made with Love, Aya Rosen, Michelle Bendy, Crafty Yam, and Marumi Crafts. So if you are still interested in this pattern, I have uh, Miriam linked Marumi Crafts, but I'll also have everybody else linked as well. You can decide uh, who you contact, but if you make the donation, to follow their Instagram and see the details. They t show you which, which um, charities that they are going for. Um, you make your donation and send them the uh, details if you would like this pattern. Um, I am not sure if this pattern is a limited release. 
I don't believe that I've heard that, um, but I would, I would encourage you to go check it out if you are interested at all. Uh, every little bit helps and it's totally worth it. Grief Knows No Bounds is a beautiful chart, has a beautiful meaning bef behind it, and uh, I think that our donations are going to the right place. Um, I hope that you all have a great Stitchy Week. Make sure that you check out my description down below for the auctions for the marathon for Murdered and Missing Indigenous Women, Girls, and Two Spirits. Those auctions will be live until next Saturday at 10 a.m. Pacific, which is 6 p.m. Irish time. Uh, so that is the 10th? Yeah, no, 9th, sorry, the 9th. Uh, so you have until then to make your bids. Make sure that you're checking the page often. And uh, good luck. Good luck to everybody. Thank you so much for, for helping us. Um, me, Michelle, Jesse. Uh, me, Michelle, Jesse, Alicia, and Aaron. Jeez, brain fog. Now, I must go. Uh, I hope that you take care and stay safe. And I will see you all next week for another update. Bye.